Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Michaela and like I said, it's my channel. All right, today we are doing something uh, slightly different. Today's title is, well, I play the fairy tale game on Nintendo Switch. Yes, I am doing a game review slash just video game and I'm excited about it. Now, this game was released back in <clears throat> July 2020, so why am I doing this video now, you ask? I got this game not only because I am a fan of fairy tale, and but to have something to show my love for it and to remember it, because fairy tale's final season ended in September 2019, but since I watched the dub, it was more like October 2019. There is supposed to be no more fairy tale. But then, fortunately, we got some great news that, and it came from Hiro Mishima himself, and he's the creator of Fairy Tale, and that the Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest manga is gonna be adapted into an anime. So yay! And to be honest, I could have finished this game in no time, but I work five days a week, so I'll be. <clears throat> I couldn't do it. Anyway, let's talk about it. Warning, there will be some spoilers about what happens in the anime, so you have been warned. Okay, it's an RPG game for my non-gamers. RPG stands for role-playing game. And unfortunately, the game doesn't have an English dub, but the Japanese voice actors are pretty good. And they're the same voice actors who did the original Sub for the game. Anime. <laughs> let me speak. Okay. They're great. So let me just give a quick shout out to the main cast. Warning, I'm probably going to say it wrong. I'm so sorry. But you guys are awesome. Natsu Dragono. Played by Tetsuya Kakihara. Lucy Harphelia. Played by Aya Hirano. Gray Fullbuster. Played by Yuichi Nakamura. Urza Scarlet, played by Sayako Oharo, Ohara. Wendy Marvel, played by Satomi Sato. And Gajio Red Fox, Red Fox, <laughs> played by Wataru Hatano. And now, it's not your typical fighting game like My Hero One Justice. I have the second version because I want the English dub for something. So that's why I just went ahead to get that one. Anyway, they do it like the classic Pokemon games, in a way. When it's time to battle an anime enemy, you'll see that it's a turn-based combat system that uses four commands. Magic. And then you'll see that, I hope I put it on the screen, each character has their own little magic. And there's certain MPs, like down in the screen below. Depending on how much MP you use, you use, then you'll have inflict more damage on the enemy. But be careful that it can run out a lot if depending on how long the battle lasts and who your enemy is. And then we have attack. Really doesn't do anything. It's just like a simple yeah. <laughs> anyway, and then you have defend. They just do a guard, just stay defense, okay? <laughs> and item. When it comes to items, you can usually receive them after a battle or just by smashing a bunch of boxes or going up to a treasure chest. It mostly focuses on the adventure itself and restoring the guild's glory of former glory. You get to complete quests and certain chapters of the whole anime or sorry game <laughs> strengthen the bond between your guild mates and upgrade the guild's facilities to increase the guild rank i personally think the dialogue plays a big part in the game especially when it comes to Strengthening the bond of friendship. <laughs> the game starts with the Tidoral Island arc, sort of. They're fighting Hades and Loxus comes in to help out. 
which is one of my favorite moments from the anime, by the way. Starts from here, and then I'm shocked that we got to fight staying in Rogue. They call themselves True Dragon Slayers, and they're also the third generation. Got a lacrima, and they are was were raised by dragons. Uh, in the Mag Grand Magic Games arc, everybody didn't end up fighting who they fought in the anime, so that was interesting, but whatever. Anyway, it goes all the way to the Tartaros arc, and I thought it was over after that, but fortunately, no. The story continues, so I was happy about that. Now let's talk about the cutscenes. This is where the characters are talking about, or just anything in general, and are just having a full-on conversation with other characters. On the bright side, if you wanted to skip the dialogue and continue playing, you can. Because in the Pokemon games, there's no skip button. And there's a lot of dialogue in there that I just want to skip. Plus, there's no voice actors in Pokemon. So, why do I want to just keep on reading when no, no one is talking? I don't get it. <laughs> And you're just only collecting and battling Pokemon. You get the gist of it. You don't need any explanations. Moving on. But in the fairy tale game, I think it's... I love the cutscenes, actually. It feels like that I am watching the anime again. I'm reliving everything. So, yeah. And I'm watching it for in sub for the first time. Now, since they couldn't include every little storyline that happened in the anime they found other ways to do it and just like in the anime Lucy is narrating on what's happening and what happened so you'll hear her voice <clears throat> while a little notebook shows you pictures that come from the anime to tie in certain arcs for example we don't get to play through the sun village arc that comes after the eclipse celestial spirits filler arc Ranked fourth, the Wizard Saint Ward sequel requests the help of Natsu and Gray. Here's the picture from that, and that's basically the end result. Gray reworked the ice that covered the village, and Natsu reignited the flame, saving the villagers. In general, I love how they include screenshots from the anime and made up pics, but there's still dialogue going on, and here's a pic of Urza and Miliana reuniting during the Grand Magic Games arc. They're talking about how impressive Kagra is and who happens to be Miliana's new guildmate from Mermaid Heel. Quick note. <laughs> this, in this pic, Urza is not wearing her armor. She's supposed to be wearing this really nice casual outfit that you don't get to see her in a lot. She's wearing like a black ensemble with a plaid skirt. and One of my favorites. I love it. Anyway, okay, and this right here is the Princess Hisui. Uh, she is the Princess of Fiore. Fiore. <laughs> I think she's talking about the person that came from the future to warn her about what's to come, or she could be talking to a dragon. Yes, a dragon. <laughs> but yeah, that is just about all the details I'm going to go over about this game. Overall, I love this game. Definitely a game for fairy tale lovers only because I don't personally think if you never watch the show or if you're not a fan of fairy tale, you're probably not going to like this game. So it's for fairy tale lovers only mostly. But feel free to check it out for yourself if you want to play it. Yeah, more the merrier. The graphics are amazing. And when I finish this game, I, I will play it over and over again. So, make sure you check out this game. I'm pretty sure it's everywhere now. And hopefully it's cheaper. Because <laughs> it's been out for a while. And let's see. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and, I guess, Instagram. But Instagram's been playing with me because I can't post anything for some reason. So, kind of upset about that. So, yeah. Make sure you definitely follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. Yep, throw that in there. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me all your thoughts about this game. Will you purchase this game in the future? And are you excited about the 100, fairy tale 100 year quest 
manga getting adapted into an anime because I am just great news to all fairy tale fans and fairy tale stance. And let's see how uh, well I'm Michaela. I will see you later. Bye.